Hi everyone, it's Chet here from WebsiteWizard.tv. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a logo for free using some free online software. So you can use this to create logos for your website, for your YouTube channel, for your Facebook page, etc. So let's get to it. So I'm over at Google here. So I'm going to search free icons here. And then if you click on the first result here, flaticon.com, this website has a number of free icons we can use. So you can just search for whatever you want here. So I'm going to search for computer. Then I'm going to scroll down and find an image to use for my logo. So I like this one right here. So hover over that and click on this eye icon here. To select that one so you want to select the ping file here so that we can retain the transparency on this image so click on ping right here to download the ping file and as you can see we can choose the image size here so the best thing to do would be to choose the biggest image here that way if we need to make it smaller we can just reduce the image size and we won't lose any quality whereas if we chose the smaller image size if we made the image bigger by stretching it we'll lose some quality on the image. So the best thing is to go for the bigger image. So click on that one here. And then we want to use the free download here. So what you need to do to use these free icons from this website, you actually need to credit the website for that. So you need to copy down this code right here. And if you're using this image on your website, then you just wanna paste this code on your website, anywhere on your website, uh, giving credit to this website for this icon. So copy the code here, then click free download. And I've now downloaded that image to my computer. So what we want to do now is head on over to a website called PicMonkey. So I'm going to go there now. So what you want to do is hover over design here, and then we can choose the size. Let's click on custom here. And let's make this 500 by 500 and then click make it. And here we are, we're now on inside the program. So this is some online software. So you don't need to download this software. You can use it for free online. So the first thing we want to do is import our free icon we downloaded a second ago. So come to the top here and click on open here. And then click on my computer then click on open new image and then select that icon from your computer that we just downloaded so here we go here's our free icon so what we're going to do now is add some text for our website or if this is a YouTube channel icon then you want to add your YouTube name here your YouTube channel name or your Facebook page name whatever so the first thing to do is hover over text here and click on that so to click on the text icon right here. And then you can scroll down here and select your font style. So I'm gonna scroll down and choose my font style here. And there's a lot of different font styles you can choose from as you can see right here. So I'm going to choose chunk five here. So I'm gonna click on that. Then I'm gonna click add text at the top here. And here's our text block here. So if you hover over this, you can see you can drag the text to wherever you want and then this right here this little icon if you hover over that you can actually rotate the image and if you hover over the edge you can stretch it diagonally upwards or you can stretch it sideways if you hover until the arrows appear here you can stretch it left so the first thing we wanted to do is enter our text so let's click inside this text block here so click once and now we can type your YouTube channel name or your Facebook page name or your website name. I'm going to type website wizard.tv. Then on the right here, you can see that we can format the text. So I'm going to highlight the text. I'm going to leave the first part here black, but I'm going to make the second text color here orange. So I'm going to highlight that and you can click different colors here to select the different colors or what you can do is you can actually click on this part right here and then this little eyedropper will appear and what you can do is hover over different 
colors on this page and actually select that exact color. So to keep it consistent with this icon here, I'm gonna select the same orange. So I'm gonna ho hover over the orange here and click on that. And as you can see, I've selected the same orange color here. And you can also do a number of different things here. You can make this text bold by highlighting the text here and clicking the bold icon. You can make it italics, you can center align it. You can increase the size using this right here, or you can actually just highlight the text. I'm gonna hi highlight all the text here and then click the drop down here and I'm going to choose 48. And then you can see you can use some blending modes. You can add some fade in here on the text if you like. I'm gonna keep that to the left. And then what I'm going to do is because I've made this font size bigger, I need to make this text block slightly bigger. So if I click off the screen, then hover over the edge here until the arrows appear and I can drag that outwards. Do the same on this side. So I'll hover over this edge, drag that outwards. And actually, I think I need to make this text smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to highlight all of this text. So click on the text block here highlight everything here by left clicking and dragging across and then i'm going to make this 48 if i 48 here then i'm going to click off the screen i'm just going to hover over this until the right and left arrows appear and i'm going to drag that across right like that there we go so another thing i'm going to do is just drag this text up so when you hover over this text block with the cursor, if you move up, you can see now the arrow is pointing up. So if I drag this, this will increase the size. We don't want to do that. We want to hover over this until the cursor appears like this, as you can see. And that means when we drag it around, we can move it. So let's move it up to the top here. And if I hover over this little circle right here, we can actually rotate the image. So I'm just going to rotate it slightly upwards just to make it look a little better. And there we go. Now, if you wanted to delete this text, then all you need to do is once you've clicked on the text block here, you just press delete here. So that's my image complete. I'm going to click off the screen here. And I just want to show you a couple of other things you can do here. So if you click on this first one right here, the basic edits, you can choose the canvas color. You can crop the image, rotate. Let's go to exposure here click on exposure you can increase the brightness of the low of the icon as you can see so if we bring that all the way down you can see our icon color becomes really strong here so I want to move it upwards so the icon is slightly transparent but our text isn't so let's just move this down a little bit more that looks quite good to me so I'm going to leave it like that then you can also do the same thing for the highlights you can increase that or decrease that however you like and same with the shadows, you can add, move this upwards or downwards until you get the icon looking how you want it. And then again, same thing with the contrast here. So once you've got everything looking how you want it, you just want to click on apply here. And there we go. So that's my image complete here. So what I want to do is just crop the image. So you want to click on the first icon right here and then click on crop. And then you can drag up and down to select the area that you want to crop. So I'm going to select right here. So I'm going to drag up until my text is inside this cropped area. Then I'm going to click apply here. So there we go. There's my image finished. It's got the website name, it's got the icon. So the last thing to do now is to export the image. So let's go ahead and do that. So come up to the top here and click save. And as you can see, you can choose the format. So if you click the drop down, you can choose JPEG or ping. Now I'd suggest you choose JPEG because that way you retain the transparency on the image. So if you're using a transparent image or a transparent background, then you want to choose ping here. So that's done, we select ping here and then click save to my computer. And then you can save that on your desktop or wherever you like. And there we go, that's our image complete. So here's the image complete here. So we can use that on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook page, on our website. And just remember when you're using free icons. So in our case, we found a free icon on a website. 
but the requirements were we need to give credit to that website so don't forget that part if you've used an icon that requires you to leave credits to the author. Yeah.